Greetings, ladies and gentlemen. It's me, Henri. So I have here, I have here a Nikon SMZ four four five microscope, and the purpose of this video is to demonstrate what this microscope looks like inside, and also to highlight some key components. That is a pun of this microscope in order to take it apart or disassemble it. You have here, for example, this knob. There are some hex screws right here, some tiny hex screws. And there are two of them on each knob, which need to be taken apart before you can remove this housing of this microscope, okay? And in this case, I used a size T6 six-sided star bit. You can use this, this, this works really well it's not it's not tightened with machine it's it's not it doesn't have a torque wrench per se however it is it is hand tight so you can you can take it apart using just your hands you don't need a big wrench um, you could also use a hex a hex key set find a small one make sure it fits into these small hex screws okay so that's something I want to point out and once you once you have that everything will go smoothly okay and like i said this thing is taken apart basically like a 3d puzzle you need to remove this before you can remove the housing but before you need before you can remove the housing you need to remove you need to unscrew these this this just screws into place um on both sides so there you go see this in 3d 60 <laughs> get a 3d 60 view of the microscope components all right there you go so here we are the inside of this microscope these gears right here they're, they're made of nylon and the reason why I'm taking this apart is I wanted to repair this microscope, and I have repaired it. Basically, this bottom shaft here is meant to rotate left and right, counterclockwise and clockwise, in order to adjust the optics inside of this housing here. And basically, these gears were slipping. They were, they were, uh, they were grinding, and as a result, I. I couldn't get this shaft to turn because because of how loose this gear was. And a simple solution was just to loosen these couplings because they were they were sort of loose. I had to readjust it. And then also this here, this beveled gear mechanism, and it has a screw there. So I slid the slid it over here on this metal shaft and then adjusted it in the right position, tightened it. And then I tighten the couplings as well on both sides. They have two couplings on each side. And then now everything's a lot smoother. It's smooth. It's supposed to be smooth. There, there is supposed to be no clicking mechanism whatsoever. So the only way you can actually turn it is to place this knob on here, tighten these hex screws, and voila. So I will demonstrate that here in a moment. But first, I need to reassemble this microscope and I will show you how it looks like. First I will start with the housing. The housing needs to go on here. Oh did I mention did I mention something? I was gonna 3D print. Yeah, I was gonna 3D print this. Let's 3D model it, 3D print it and then place some new gears, but fortunately we don't have to do that today maybe sometime in the future but for now at least we know the root cause of the problem so i will place the housing here and after i after i put the housing together with both hands and i put down the camera <laughs> then okay then i will place this one on here and then i will do the rest okay okay here we go so basically, I snap these two together on both sides of the housing, 
And now it looks, it appears like it's looking at me. <laughs> okay, so we have that part. I have not placed the screws in. Like I said, it snaps together. Mm -hmm. I will do this. I will do the screws in a moment. But right now, the next thing I need to do is to place this screw mechanism of this of this lens housing into that the screw into the screws here see the the threads okay so let me let me attach both sides here and here and then i'll get back to you okay so i screwed in one side now i need to screw the other side so it's just like that all you have to do is place it into onto the thread and then screw it Okay, let me, let me do this with both hands. It's much better. Okay, here we are. So, I got that. Now, I'm tightening this here with my hands. And we're almost there. All right, hand tight. Excellent. So, now both sides are on. And the housing is together. All right. You see? I did this here. Here, attach them together. Clip them. Attach these these lens housings here and then what I need to do next is attach these knobs and then okay so here, here you can see here I need to place this knob here like that and then I need to do this on the other side as well and then tighten those and then after that I will place this collar on so that's next all right, so I got the uh, small screws in there. I've uh, placed this on top. I've tightened the screws here on the adjustment knobs left and right, which are connected by a single shaft. Now the only thing I need to do is just screw this back into place here because this is basically just a collar that you can attach a, a fiber optic light on. I can show you that in a, in a, in a few moments. And then I will place this on top of here. So that's the next step. Okay, here we go. See that? This is, it's got, it's got this uh, threading here on the inside and on this collar here. And then you get the threading at the right spot and then you just hand tighten it. That's it. Okay, we're almost there. Come on, come on, come on. This is a one-handed job right here. One-handed task, one-handed adjustment. All right, so there we go. And then I need to place this on top of here, like so. And then, voila. All I have to do is lift this up and then tighten it. Tighten that, that uh, adjustment knob again. Okay, so now we have it put together, and then okay, there's one last thing I actually I actually need to do, which is to place these these outer lenses back into place. So these actually just slide in like that. These are not these these don't you don't screw these in place. They do, they slide in and out with gravity. <laughs> Now the, the whole microscope head is back together and now I can go take it back to the laboratory and try it out. I will show you the optic, uh, fiber optic lighting. I might need to clean these lenses here, so let me get back to that real quick. Alright, much better. Much better I cleaned the lenses. It's ready. It's ready, ladies and gentlemen. Here we go. It's time to teleport. Okay, here we are at the laboratory. This is the previous microscope which I installed. This is the fiber optic lens. You can see here there's light coming from it and it's adjusted by this knob here. I can tie and increase the brightness and then I will show you. I will show you this attached here. Now I will remove this because the magnification level of this microscope is not as high. Let me demonstrate that. Alright, so you can see here, there's an Arduino Nano 
device and you can see this surface mount device SMD472 so that's what we're looking at and then there's the device itself you can see that really really tall really, really tiny thing next to the needle you can see that there it says 472 okay so that's what we're looking at right there that's how far we can get with this microscope you can see there for scale there's a tip of a needle touching the upper right the upper right corner of the device All right so that's what it looks like and then now we will test this one out oh yeah and real quick here is the fiber optic this is a fiber optic light the lens or a, well there's a lens in here actually a floodlight and then it goes right through this fiber optic cable see the lens shining light through here see that mm -hmm. and then the fiber optic cable see look when I place the fiber optic in front of it you can see the pattern of light that changes around this ring and you just okay let me zoom let me zoom out really quick okay <laughs> Um, you just go like this. Place it in there. And then you can turn up the brightness. Now you have a fiber optic ring light at full brightness coming from this. And then this would light up a sample while being attached to here. You see? That's what that that's what the coupling mechanism is for that's what this is for this coupling this collar actually this sorry this collar is meant to hold on to this as you're placing it on here so you can see samples okay fascinating yeah so here we go all right um let, let me place it on here and uh, we'll move on to the next the next thing okay so i installed the microscope that I repaired the stage works perfectly there are no problems with it I installed the ring light here as well it's a different ring long but ring light but it just got the screw mechanism so the uh, it's very it's very high quality high optical quality it's a lot clearer than the other microscope believe it or not you can take really, really, really clear, nice images of whatever you're seeing on here with a camera. Look at this. I mean, just, just look at this. Okay, let me let me get this adjustment right. Here we go. Look at that. Amazing. You can see the wire. You can see the needle on the top right. It is so, it is so awesome. I'm glad everything works out great. Unfortunately, this is as far as it goes. It cannot go any closer. But I would say what has improved is the optical quality itself, the lenses. So when I zoom out, when I zoom out, this is what it looks like. Ready? Set. Go. So you can get some really great quality images on here. <laughs> so that, like I said, it's the Arduino chip. I can zoom back in again just by rotating the knob. Go up to there. And we're back at the highest zoom level. Very clean, very clean. I like that. Well, thank you for tuning in, ladies and gentlemen. This has been a fascinating little side project here at the laboratory. <laughs> okay, well, you take care out there. See you next time.